this year. This is probably the best inquiry group I have ever had with. It's so responsible. And I am so excited looking forward to the new members for next year. So we would like for you to join us in honoring the new sixth grade members of our National Junior Honor Society.
so for you. If God has been taking charge of it, and taking charge of something perfectly defined solution. If you bring inspiration to those around you, then you're going to roll with the ship. Sometimes people think that they are too shy or they are too humble to have leadership. But a leader is someone who brings out the best of others, who bring courage in times of hardship, who bring joy in times of sorrow, or who bring a chance in times when there's never a hope of having another one. If you have ever done any of these, then you have been a leader. If you have ever raised your open any form, or even a small step, then you will take your leadership. The National Truth Council is going to test your leadership and your ability to keep all of the promises that you will make in our world by being tied over. We are going to have to your effort and your responsibility. So thank you to all these other members who will try to harness it. Thank <laughs> you. 
dumb kids. We do it because we like people. The military, those who serve our military, do it because they see a certain cause and belief. And that is to protect the rights and freedoms that others pay the ultimate sacrifice for. I'm going to give you a couple stats on law enforcement. You know, one thing I tell my law enforcement folks that work with me is that we serve because the majority of people respect what we do. And I truly believe that. If it ever flips the other way, I won't serve. But I want to give you a couple of stats that you don't see a lot. Every 57 hours, a law enforcement, a brother or sister in this country, dies protecting your rights and freedoms. 60,000 officers are assaulted every year, 15,500 are actually injured. And these officers, and you see the media, it talks about the bad things going on in the country. I call it media entertainment. I teach at one of the universities here. I'm an opportunist. By the way, kids, take, take advantage of every opportunity you're in life. You get one life. It's the best gift you'll ever get. Take advantage of it. And I did a little assignment to my, my class. I said, what means words in Missouri? What's going on in in Missouri? And you kids are smarter than you never met. Your social media, with all the things you have, you know, the first to come up and she had her phone and she was doing that. I'm like, man, I feel bad. I'm not like this. But um, that's technology. That's the best. But I had my students look into that. You know what they said? The biggest problem first is the media. And they, they articulated it. They did their research on it. But I come from one thing I think is very important in society, in our communities, in our cultures, and that is leaders. We need leaders. We need future leaders like you, to step up and do what's right. Not what's popular, but what's right. At the Sheriff's Office, one thing I've instilled with my employees is the role model standard. They take it and start with the Oval Office. Everything you're talking about, kids, is in that, within that Oval Office. Bottom line is, you can't be a role model. You can't serve you all as well. And it's based on the decisions they make day in and day out. Kids, let me say this to you, or I should say young leaders that are influencing others to do what's right, not by force now, but by influence, by you setting the examples as role models. Continue that. I challenge you to do that. You know, one thing that I tell the folks that work for me, I tell you this is, the decision to succeed in life and to take advantage of life rests with you. Not your parents, not your grandparents, if you work, not your boss, not me, it's you. And that based on the practice that you follow, your personal core patterns, that you follow everything you talk about kids tonight, and you believe in it, and you have a passion for it. If you are officially saying, okay, I got that. No. I reflect on the challenge when you go back, look at all your core values. Adults, it's a good thing to do. I do it every night as I digest and learn the lessons of life, which is my second thing I want to hear on. If you look at other folks that make mistakes and you can learn from them, you will succeed. Trust me, you will succeed. It's amazing if you watch that and learn from that, how important that is your own successes. I'll leave you with this. Jeff Bezos, who's the CEO of Amazon.com, started his business in a garage. Now you know, multi-million dollar corporation organization. But he has a very simple theory on leadership, on business, on customer service, on people. And that is, every day is the first day. When I ask somebody to come to me and say, you have to have a bad day, have a bad month, have a bad year, I tell them, remember the first day you started with law enforcement. Remember the first day you started school. And that is, go back to that. I tell the folks at Sheriff's Department, you were dressed to impress when you walked in the door. What happened? You get the eight graders or one of the high school next 
next year, you'll see me out there, coach out there, you will see me out there, smile. Life is a challenge of fun. You will never, never forget the fact it's fun. See big, think big, act big. Congratulations. I uh, wish you the best when you go to in high school. You start careers in home at eighth grade. Take charge, be leaders. Thank you, everybody, for saying that.
We all knew we have all the members of the staff and engineers. Thank you. Thank you.
culture, please. All the new inductees, please.